Yo, 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 people, internet, and welcome back to another video here on the channel, and so, I've become a little addicted to a Roblox game recently. <laughs> Let me tell you, when I first heard of Type Souls release, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll give it a quick try really quick. It seems to be sapping some of the players from Deep Oaken, so it should be pretty good. Little did I know that it would steal away, like, I think it's been, like, an entire week, if not more, of my life so far, and it's gotten me really addicted. The first hour or two of Type Soul was shit, I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, out of the three paths you can go in the game, I'm not gonna talk about the other two, but I decided to go with Hollow, because they were simply the coolest in the Bleach anime. All my homies hate Quincy's. I've gone Shinigami progression, but I ain't never gonna proc a Quincy, I'm gonna be honest. They just, not very many cool weapons or cool elements, so I'm just not gonna proc one of those. By the way, I'm just gonna say it now, um, if you expect a, uh, like, good explanation or even a, like, good video on Type Soul, this is probably not it. I just wanted to get some of my words out here, I guess. I don't know, I just wanted to make a video, to be honest. See, to progress as a hollow, you spawn as a simple fishbone, go murder another fishbone or two, and then you evolve into a menos, kill a menos really quick as a menos, and boom, you're Ned Hudes. Basically, a hollow which has Super Saiyan 3 hair for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's funny. Up to this point in the progression, light work. You may be wondering why I went through that so fast, because honestly, that's how fast it goes. It took like five minutes. But then we reach the hell point. Now, when you reach Ed Hudes, you have two options. The easy one, which is easy now and then annoying later, which is the one you should definitely take if you're playing the game, or the annoying one now, but easier later. Even though it's, I mean, it's kind of easier later. I guess it's, you get rid of some of the RNG chances for Hokioku frags, but either way, it's annoying the f way that you do the first one, if you do the second one, is what I'm trying to say. I tried the annoying option, <laughs> trying to kill other Edhudas until I hit 25 mass cracks, which is 13 kills worth of Edhudas kills. Not that bad, only 13 kills, but unfortunately, for some reason, unlike almost everything else in this game, when you die with mass cracks, you lose progression. <laughs> you lose either five of your mass cracks, or all of them randomly for sometimes. I'm not sure why I haven't been good, given a good reason for why when I've asked. Maybe it's uh, like I combat logged and lost all of them, but sometimes when I just regular died, I lost all of them, so I'm not sure what was going on there. Now, even then, you may be saying, dude, you literally played Rogue and Deep Oak, and that's only 13 not-so-difficult NPC kills, and sure, you could get jumped, but playing those two games, I'm kind of used to getting jumped. <sighs> we ain't done yet, unfortunately, is the hard reason this gets even more cringe. After getting your 25 mass cracks, you need to either kill another hollow that has the 25 mass cracks, which, good luck, only NP- only- sorry, only non-NPCs players can have 25 mass cracks, and most of the time, because of how annoying it is to get those mass cracks, people are getting boosted. They have people around them that are very prog, so that they can't get killed so easy. So, good luck with that. Or, you can kill your Vasta Lorde NPC. And maybe you're saying, oh, just get some people on and cheese it really quick. No, you can't. Only you can see and hit your uh, Vasta Lorde. Very cool. Which, with your extremely limited moveset, a whole one move as a ed who does and then you have your crit and normal punches y yeah good luck oh and you may be saying well it's just a boss fight just keep coming back at it uh when you die you still lose mass cracks at this point for some godforsaken reason yeah no I got all my mass cracks, tried to fight my Vasta once, and after just getting my ass absolutely handed to me by the Vasto, I decided, yeah, no, fuck this, and just pulled off my mask right away. So now, 
you may be looking at the title of this video and <laughs> seeing all this just random progression, how bad it sounds. You may be saying, why are you talking about this in a video in a video titled Type Soul is so addicting? And see, it's to try to put you into my perspective. I think most of the progression in this game is so tedious for no reason. Like missions especially cancer it's the same it's a bandit beater it's doing the same thing for like 30 minutes straight and it's just painful but even so i'm so fucking addicted to this game you don't understand i'm loving this game so much more than even something like deep woke and a rogue i think i have just played 80 games of rank today lost like 50 of those games and i can still say i'm having fun and kind of down to play more I can only give two reasons why I think it's this way. One, the combat is just so smooth and satisfying. Even lag, I just, when you're landing the hits, it just feels so strong. And the very cool thing is that HP bars are actually kind of large in this game. Fights go on for like a minute and a half, two minute range, which I think is the perfect time. And even with that, your hits still kind of feel like they have an impact and stuff. I... I don't know, it's just, I, I can't put my reason on why it's so smooth and satisfying fully, but it just hits just right. And the second, now not the second thing, but a side thing is that there's so many kind of skill paths you can go down. And they're honestly, for the most part, perfectly crafted and for how many skills there are, pretty balanced. Obviously, Hakata right now is a big issue. My biggest issue with it is just get rid of airborne um, animations. It takes so long for no reason. Like, Hakata's damage is cringe, but I'd be less annoyed with it if I wasn't spending half of the fight just waiting for his animations to go off. Alright, on to the second reason. Even though the game isn't permadeath similar to something like deep oak and a rogue which i've played in the past and enjoyed because of the permadeath somehow because of how the difficulty is balanced it's just uh, it's not for all unlock unlocks but for some of them it still gives you the same feeling of satisfaction and accomplishment at least for me of those other games but while it's like that, it's not so annoying and tedious because you're not losing progression. You don't need to go back and do that thing again. It's just done. It, I don't I don't know why I feel so satisfied when I get that done. Like, I just did that 80 games looking for only 20 wins so I can start working towards a Bankai. And I feel like I just got an Ultra Class and did something huge, even though it's just 20 wins and it was like 60 losses, dude. Which is so embarrassing, but listen. I, I just, I seriously do not get how this game on paper can seem so annoying. And yet when I'm playing, it's just so damn satisfying and addicting. I haven't even technically fully finished a build yet. I've gotten a shark res, but I, am st I haven't even touched getting Segunda yet, because that shit's going to be painful. Plus, I need a Bankai alt, because I doubt any of my friends want to sit there for 10 hours while I try to get Segunda off them. But... This game, I, I can just keep, even though I haven't finished anything, I'm having so much fun, and I definitely see myself continuing to play. There's so much stuff to be played here. It's it's a fucking gold mine. So, I'm saying fuck it, we ball, and I'm gonna keep playing it for a bit, see how it goes. Obviously, I've said that in the past, and it's gone differently. Hopefully, this will be different. This video certainly, I don't think, was my best. It feels strange. I feel like I'm talking well, but it's like, what is the point of this video? <laughs> but hey, recently, I've definitely been in a fuck it, we ball type of mood again. So, I hope you enjoyed it. That's everything I got for you. See why? Fucking ad sign.